Continuous sound monitoring has been in Yellowstone National Park (YNP), and scientists at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory (YVO) are listening for underground geyser activity. According to this week's Caldera Chronicles by YVO and scientist in charge Michael Poland, infrasound refers to low-frequency acoustic energy that is below the range of human hearing. Infrasound travels at a much slower speed than seismic waves and experiences little atmospheric absorption, meaning it can travel long distances and still be detected. While infrasound is not something humans can hear, this sound energy can be important for monitoring processes occurring within the Earth's atmosphere, Poland wrote in the Caldera Chronicles. In September 2023, the first permanent three-sensor infrasound microphone system was installed at YNP in the Norris Geyser Basin. The station tracks activity at Steamboat Geyser and found that infrasound energy from the eruption could be detected for several hours, indicating an energetic source. Poland described the triangular array of three sensors as important because it can measure the direction of the infrasound signal's origin. The recordings that will come from temporary deployments designed to study a specific geyser or from single microphones that cannot pinpoint the location of the origin. The new infrasound station also recorded a powerful sound that lasted about a minute on April 15, 2024. The event was from a small, unwitnessed hydrothermal explosion near Porcelain Basin that left a small crater surrounded by disturbed soil. Infrasound therefore provides a powerful means of detecting hydrothermal explosions that might otherwise go undetected, Poland wrote. While the station did not detect any sounds from the Biscuit Basin hydrothermal explosion last summer, it did record the sound of a bright fireball in the sky in the area on May 3, 2025. YVO hopes to deploy more infrasound stations in the area in the coming years. YVO also shares monthly updates on YouTube, seen below, that include information about YNP's magma chamber and footage of a small hydrothermal vent in Biscuit Basin captured on a new webcam. Some users even went as far as to criticize the person for filming the animal's slow death, saying they should have called a ranger and asked for help. This suggestion also seems kind of, since there's little the rangers can do to help the animal. Unfortunately, while these accidents are rare, they do happen naturally in the park. In an interview with the Sacramento Bee, Mike Poland, a scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, So should Yellowstone National Park officials do something to protect these animals from certain death? Many people online have called the images poaching and said how sorry they feel for the poor animals who died in such a horrific manner. However, it is important to remember that nature does not have human ethics and morals. Rangers should interfere as little as possible in the lives of many animals in U.S. national parks, even if this means certain death unless humans are responsible. While it may be difficult to witness such animal deaths, it is important to remember that human interference in national parks should always be minimized when it comes to wildlife.